Thank you so very much for joining us. There are a lot more people in the room than I could have hoped. If you are a human rights defender in Afghanistan, you risk your life every day. Il suffit qu'on tue une ou deux personnes pour que tout le monde ait peur. You cannot have proper development if you don't have human rights. We have law but without implementation. There is a difference between winning an election and winning power. It's very difficult and we understand in many countries where it's a conflict situation um, there are some would say extenuating circumstances. However, at the end of the day, it's not just in those environments that we're finding problems or difficulties from human, for human rights defenders. What's going wrong? Every human rights violation, every humanitarian disaster is a politic is the result of a political failure almost always. Dans les pays en développement, une élection n'est jamais une chose simple et les autorités gouvernementales qui prétendent toujours orienter les résultats empêchent aux promoteurs des droits de l'homme de veiller à ce que les populations votent dans le sens qu'elles veulent. We have been sent to Afghanistan last year to the presidential elections I'm speaking about doing this election observation mission. We were widely praised for the, for the outcome of the, of the report and our recommendations, and virtually nothing has happened with it. And that is political failure of the European Union and its member states. Human rights and development have the same root liberty, human dignity, the same values are at the roots of both. Por años venimos trabajando en la libre determinación y mientras no tengamos la libre autodeterminación en nuestros propios territorios seguiremos teniendo los mismos inconvenientes. Il y a des états et donc dès qu'on parle d'autodétermination, c'est des états encore que les, nos états soient saucissonnés à plusieurs morceaux et donc ils auront toujours les dirigeants politiques contre eux. Without justice, uh, no um, um, coming uh, essential uh, peace. It's not only justice that has to pass in order for recon reconciliation to be possible. It is also history that has to be recognized. Is it reconcilable? Is it, is it, is it that easy? Are they compatible? Y venimos de una historia Eh, los pueblos indígenas de Sudamérica y de varias partes del mundo con atrocidades que hasta el día de hoy no se han eh, reparado y aún así apostamos a la paz y creemos que o al menos no conocemos otro camino. La cuestión es de saber cómo pasar de un pasado divisé a un avenir partagido. Todo sabiendo que hay habido blessures profundas mais aussi qu'il y a certaines personnes qui ont intérêt qu'on oublie tout. The election is a way, if properly handled, to try and channel tensions that otherwise would be played out through war, through conflict. L'Europe, et nous devons la féliciter l'Europe, est le continent qui appuie énormément les processus électoraux. Mais il ne faudrait pas que cet appui ne soit pas constant. Politicians make promises that their voters have to fulfill. <laughs> and so, so yes, uh, we are creating expectations that cannot be met. 
Je crois qu'il n'y a pas d'autre solution. Les élections, il faut qu'on qu qu supporte les élections, il faut qu'on reconnaisse le droit des peuples à choisir eux-mêmes leurs leaders et il faut que la communauté internationale, à mon avis, supporte ce droit fondamental à la liberté et à la démocratie. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a very, very warm welcome to Morgan Sangerai. Thanks, my dear. Thanks. Democracy must be owned by the people in a particular country, in a particular situation. I believe that people must fight for their own freedom. What they need from the international community is solidarity. Now, solidarity does not mean that you determine what the people shall and shall not do. Because freedom that is handed over by other people fighting for you is not freedom that is cherished. So in this case, let me give you an example. Apartheid would not have collapsed if the people of South Africa had just waited for the international and apartheid movement to free themselves. They had to fight, they had to be on the streets. Today, they cherish their role in freeing themselves. Ladies and gentlemen, the Prime Minister of Zimbabwe, Morgan Swangirai.